Hey guys, quick introduction to Vim. It's an editor, and it's an editor that you should learn. So, what is Vim? Vim is on your system. If you use Linux, you got it already. If Vim does not work, uh, VI will most definitely will. And VI is like a cut down old version of Vim with some eccentricities, but it's still essentially the same thing. Hopefully just install Vim and then you'll be set. And then when you launch it, it looks like that, all right? That is Vim. And then you'll be probably wondering how to escape. The trick is shift ZZ. That's how to escape quickly. Save and exit. See what I'm doing here? Shift ZZ. That's, that's how you simply exit. You can use obviously, you know, colon WQ or whatever, or Q to escape without saving. But anyway, that's essentially Vim. To learn how to use it properly, just run Vim Tutor. But I must say, of all the million things that I was gonna teach you, I, you know, you only need to know a subset of that. So, so, so it's okay not knowing everything about Vim. It's okay, because I don't know everything about Vim. I use just a small subset of commands that just work for me. And you gotta find those too. Uh, what else is I find really really useful is to install a pathogen which is like a package manager for Vim. I know it's a bit over the top and crazy and all the rest of it but it's fairly easy to install just follow these stupid instructions on the pathogen website and um, also I recommend using um, Vim sensible the trouble is most of the the features on Vim are just um, well not turned on so you don't get to use them. But like when you have all these guys in, um, it's it's nice. Oops, I need to put that into my VimRC. Okay, so that in my VimRC, I get, um, I also like to have a slightly lighter. Okay, so that's basically how I use Vim. I just have those basically four things in my VimRC just to, just to have syntax on and colors and they're all nice and bright. So with Vim Sensible in, um, the cool thing about it is like, well the number one, the number one way I, I test things are working with Vim Sensible is um, if I'm editing HTML and then I press shift percent, I can switch between the tags because it just enables like this match it uh, plugin and things like that. Anyway, that is Vim, learn it. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want me to do some more tutorials, um, uh, please let me know. It's not going to kill you to learn Vim. It's just, if you don't use it as your primary editor, that's okay. But you need to learn VI Vim as like a baseline skill when you're using Linux. So, toodle pip guys. Thanks for watching.